guys welcome back to another video this is a chit chat get ready with me i am pressed for time so i'm doing this intro really quick i will have all the items that i used linked down in the description box for you guys make sure y'all watch the vlog so y'all can see the fit and all that if i have not shown y'all already and let's go ahead and get into this video good morning y'all i am getting ready i am going out to brunch with the girls i will be vlogging so y'all will see like the restaurant vibe and all that um in another video but i did want to go ahead and do the chit chat get ready with me i've been talking about it for a second and i asked y'all these questions weeks ago so i did want to just sit down and talk to y'all since i am going out with the girls and you know we're gonna have a good time and your girl's gonna look cute because it's brunch and it's a cute little place downtown but i did want to go ahead and just chat a little bit talk to y'all i feel like i haven't done one of these in a minute honey in a minute I feel like the last time i talked to y'all was that um life update video so let's get into it. I did ask y'all some questions and y'all asked me some good questions, honey. Some good questions about friendship and all the things. I did pick up a few new items that I'm going to be trying out. The vibe that I'm going for is going to be like a orange sunset vibe because I have two outfit options. One is like a really bright pink and orange fit. And then the other one is a olive green fit so i feel like the sunset look will look good with either one y'all know i have told y'all throughout my youtube channel that i so when i first started doing the vlogs and stuff i was telling y'all that you know i didn't have any friends and it was a struggle to find friends that allowed me to have a more deep and meaningful connection like i had acquaintances but I didn't really have any friends at the time. So I wanted to talk about it because I now have genuine friends that I can really call my friends. Well, I would say friend, <laughs> friend singular, okay? Um, and I have some really good group of girlfriends, the homies, you know what I'm saying? Those type of friendships as well. People that you can just hang out with and have a good time um, and speak with and confidence and know that they're not going to you know, be messy, trying to sabotage you and all that foolishness. So I feel like I have a good group of friends and acquaintances at this point. So I just wanted to talk to you guys because I know it can be a struggle finding friends, especially as an adult. If you're new to my channel, I am 28. And I know a lot of people either have friends from back in the day, school, college, church, cousins all that but i didn't have that upbringing so it's hard for people like me who didn't or weren't able to make those connections as a kid or when they were younger it's hard trying to transition into adulthood and you have no friends okay <laughs> it's hard it's hard a group of friends that i have now i met a couple people outside of youtube but y'all most of the people i hang out with now are from my youtube channel which is crazy so crazy to me that is so crazy so y'all know i used to have the girl work collective which was a social group so i met a few of the girls through there and then i have like a couple side friends that i just know you know outside of youtube but it's just the craziest thing and i'm so glad that i had that experience with those of you that joined the girl work collective because i feel like it was just a good opportunity to find like-minded people to connect with but let me get into y'all's questions that run in my list. So one of y'all asked how I feel about friends being cool with people who did you wrong. Honestly, if they're your friend, and it just depends on the situation because sometimes we as people can blow things up to make it a bigger thing than what it was. And your friend being that like third party individual seeing whatever it is playing out may not think that it's as big of a deal as it was to you so in that case they may still want to continue a relationship with that person even though you feel like they did you wrong you know what i'm saying so i feel like it really depends on what the wrong was um i feel like there's different levels of wrong so that's that i don't have enough information to really talk on that part but if it is something extreme that all parties can agree and that person knows they were wrong for and it's one of those things like it's a make it or break it type of situation like if i don't know that friend was sleeping with your mans or you know what i'm saying crazy stuff like that and your friend is still friends with that person 
um no ma'am like <laughs> i'm sorry no like that's a problem because to me that's just a matter of your character you know what i mean and that stuff i don't play about like if you doing stuff like that um uh, we can't be friends we can't be friends so that's how i feel about that and then some of y'all asked me about friends that throw shade somebody asked me um how do you feel about friends who seem to compete with you on everything you do or buy I've had that problem in the past. I've had that problem, which is why I didn't have no friends because I just don't like that. Like, I feel like as a friend, you need to support me. You know what I'm saying? Like, it should be. Now, I feel like you'll have your issues with friends here and there, but overall, it shouldn't be no competition or no throwing shade or trying to compete with me because I'm not competing with you. I'm competing with myself. That's how I feel as an individual some people may feel otherwise but as an individual myself i'm always competing with myself to make myself better so i don't have time to have people in my friend group who are trying to look at me to outdo me like if you're my friend girl outdo me and i'm going to support you and be happy for you like we were just talking about that at dinner a few weeks ago about people trying to outshine one another and i was just like outshine me because that to me means that you're doing something and i'm proud to be a part of your growth i'm proud to be a part of your journey as your friend so if you're doing better than me whatever that means if you making more money more successful got all this all that go ahead and i'll be right there for the ride okay and hopefully i can get some free lunches and some free gifts along the way <laughs> that's how i feel about it like so i don't understand why people it's i feel like it all comes down to jealousy i feel like when you're that type of person who is like always looking at your friend like mm, oh she thinks she all that like mm, she you know you have some problems in yourself that you need to work on it's pure jealousy y'all so i personally don't have time for that some people like that because they like the drama that comes with that but me i don't really care for having drama in my friendship so when i see people doing that stuff i slowly move them out of my life and i've experienced that for myself in the past like people just causing problems with me for no reason not supporting me and had me questioning my whole life like am i doing the right thing like am i out here looking crazy and i wasn't people were just jealous and didn't want to support me like people will really be out here trying to make you feel like you're doing something wrong or you're crazy because they don't want to see you win like they don't want to see you pursue your goals and move forward and be great so yeah, and then someone asked me, do I agree with the no new friends term? Um, I do not agree because as you outgrow friendships, I think it's important to be open to bringing new people in. So I think it's definitely important to stay open-minded about making new friends. And I know, like I said, especially as an adult, it can be harder, a little scarier because people over time accumulate more baggage and have gone through more experiences that can possibly you know taint them and make it just more difficult to find good friends but y'all there are still good people out there and someone else asks how do you know if you've outgrown someone that has been a long time friend when i had this particular issue i knew that i had outgrown my friend when our values and our character were just too different to reconcile the friendship like the particular person was doing things that i how do i put it that i would not feel comfortable with as far as being around them or being associated with them for example she had went out to the club with a friend of hers and so this was like the next day she was telling me what happened so she had went out to the club and they were at the bar and this guy was like drunk off his butt and he had like $300 cash sitting on the bar. And he was, you know, drunk talking and she knew that he was drunk. So, so he was drunk talking to them, da, 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 da. And he had, I guess, pushed the money over to her. And I guess she took that as a cue to take the money. So she took the money and they went next door to this like wing spot. And so the bartender came, I guess she had saw them go next door. So she went next door and she was like, hey, the guy that you were just talking to has run up his tab and he doesn't have any money to pay his tab. And I guess she saw that my friend at the time had took the money. She was like, can you give him that money back so he can pay his tab? Because if not, we're gonna have to call the cops on him. 
And my friend was like, no, like he gave me that money. I'm not giving the money back, da, da, da. And so y'all, she kept the money and they ended up calling the police on the guy and took him. I told her on the phone, I was like, why didn't you just give him the money back? She was like, he gave it to me. He gave, and I'm like, common to, but to me, common sense will say, okay, this man was drunk. You know what I'm saying? He really didn't mean to give you that money. And you as a more aware person should, out the kindness of your heart, just give the money back so that he wouldn't get arrested and have an even more difficult night. You know what I'm saying? So stuff like that really rubbed me the wrong way because I wouldn't do that kind of stuff. And I wouldn't want to be associated with someone who does that kind of stuff. So it was just a lot of that. And over time, I really started to realize that our views and certain things, our values just did not did not match so i feel like you have to assess that friendship i do feel like you should at least talk to them about it first and let them know your concerns especially if it is a long time friend someone you've known for a very long time i do feel like you should at least talk about it first so that um you know you both can kind of put things out on the table and if it needs to be ended ended on a more mature note but there are some people where it's just like when you're fed up you're fed up and you just have to let it go so in that case you just have to do whatever is best y'all someone said how important do you think recip reciprocity oh my gosh reciprocity is in a friendship and someone else asked how i feel about different friends serving different purposes so y'all i do feel like reciprocity is super important in a friendship friendships just like all other relationships cannot be one-sided like you should not be the only person in the hold on let me make sure because i'm trying to get ready and do this at the same time and i have a two hour window to beat my face so let me make sure okay so i did my foundation so i'm gonna do my I'm gonna do my shadow next. I feel like both parties should be putting an equal amount of effort into the relationship, period. Now that may look different for every person because we all think differently. You know what I'm saying? So if you're, for instance, me, I love to receive gifts. I love to give gifts, but someone else may not put as much emphasis on gifts, but for me, as long as you put effort behind whatever it is that you're doing for me, I appreciate that. Like for instance, I'll just use this example, my ex, right? Anybody that knows me knows birthdays and holidays are very important to me. So I told him this and y'all this, <sighs> y'all, I'm not going to tell you what he got me, but just know that it had nothing to do with nothing. So with that being said, he knew my birthday was coming up y'all didn't plan to do anything for my birthday it was like my birthday was on a wednesday last year and i had asked him on a sunday i was like hey did you have anything planned on wednesday because if not i'm gonna head over to my family's house for dinner and he was like no and i was just like okay and then y'all on my birthday i'm not gonna tell y'all what he got me but just know, y'all, it was like, but just know, y'all, I'm not, I'm not even kidding, y'all. Just know it was great value, okay? It was great value. And my thing is this, even if it was great value, the things that he bought me, the two things that he bought me were unrelated to anything about me. Like you can shop at Walmart all day, but if you're gonna get me something, especially for my birthday, make it make sense. And it did not make sense, y'all. Like, but y'all, that hurt me so much because I was like, bruh, like you didn't even put any thought into it. You're out here doing stuff for your sports car, but you can't buy me anything like that kind of stuff. No, ma'am. So going back into friendships, um, yes, like your friend should know you well enough to know like what you like, what you don't like. You know what I'm saying? Some people don't like gifts, but they like experiences. So your friend should know that. And it doesn't matter what your budget is because nowadays you can have fun and do stuff and be thoughtful and put effort without having to spend a whole lot of money on people. So it's not, to me, it's not about the amount of the gift or the gift and all this. It's about what your thought process was behind it. And for me, the reason why I was so hurt with my ex was because 
it was very much so last minute. Like he told me that he went to Walmart that same day to pick up the stuff, you know, and it hurt me because I was like, well, I'm not going to do anything for your birthday <laughs> because I was just like, you going to do me like this. Okay. Bet. You know what I'm saying? Because you didn't put any thought in when I think about other people's birthdays and doing things for them at the bare minimum, I want you to know that I put some effort into it. So for me, reciprocity is very, very important. And not just with that, but supporting your friends, communicating with your friends and all the nine. That's super, super important. And then going into the next question, um, I'm learning this as I get older. I do feel like certain friends serve different purposes. Like I have friends who I wouldn't necessarily like communicate with on the regular, but you know, I know I can hit them up. Like if I want to go out somewhere or do something or experience something, I know that they're the people that I would hit up. Or you may have friends for business, different things. So I do feel like um, certain friends serve different purposes, but regardless of those purposes, everyone in your friend group should have some commonality to you. You know what I'm saying? Like for me, I know all the people that I'm associated with are good people. I know that they're trustworthy. You know what I'm saying? They're not messy people and we can genuinely spend time together and have a good time, have good conversations, all of that. So whatever that means to you, I do feel like everyone in your friend group should have that commonality but not everybody in your friend group is going to mix well with other people <laughs> especially if you're someone who likes different types of people and it interacts with different types of people so your friends may not get along with each other but as long as <laughs> they get along with you that's all that matters i know it's a little dark on this side so i hope that y'all can see me doing my eye makeup i'm gonna go in with i did like a brown base color and i'm gonna go in with this really pretty like sienna red color and then i'm gonna top it off with orange someone asks how do you tell if a friend is really there for you or not y'all you can feel it like you can feel the love and support from a true friend like you can just feel it like you know without a shadow of a doubt your friend will try their best to help you if you're going through something support you show you love lend an ear if you need someone to talk to like you can just feel the love from your friend so you'll know like if someone is really there for you or not so I'm about to put on my eyeliner so I can put my lashes on. Someone else said, where do you go to find new friends as an adult, especially post Rona? And someone else added on to that question by saying, being a mom slash wife makes it hard. And I can definitely understand that we have, I think a lot of the girls in the group have kids. Let me just say this too, because I've heard married women saying that they don't hang out with single women or wouldn't have friends that are single. And I can, I guess, understand that to a certain extent. But like I said, who are your friends? You know what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't matter if your friend is single or not. If they're a good person and they add value to your life, regardless of their marital status, why would you not want them in your life? So I say that to say a lot of the girls that were in the social group, some of us were single, some of us were married, some of us had kids, some of us didn't, but we all had a lot to talk about, a lot in common. I know some single people say they don't like hanging out with people who have kids because, oh, they can't do nothing. And then, but y'all, the people that I hang out with and I have talked to and the girls that were in the social group, they had no problem finding someone to watch their kids while they, you know, go out to lunch or go out and do this. So like I said, it just depends on the person. Even if you are married and you have obligations as a wife or as a mother, um, you know, still set aside time for yourself and set aside time for people who you want to spend time with and those other relationships that you want to nurture. So it just depends on you. You're the only one that can make that happen, but you should place some importance on that. I feel like on the totem pole, of priorities friendship is probably not at the top of the list but it should be on the list it should be something that is a priority for you something that you should put time and effort into because friendships are very important y'all and like i said earlier i am definitely a loner but i do know the importance and the value of having 
not even multiple friends, but just having one or two good people in your corner, it can really make a difference, especially in your single season. It's hard enough being single and not having that special person in your life. So I feel like it's really important to make a friend or two to kind of help you through that journey, have friendship, have companionship, have people that you can talk to, go out with, share your feelings with, share your experiences with. It really does make a difference in your, your mental state as well, because you know that you have people that love you and care for you that will check up on you so friendships are very very important to me and I would definitely even if you're a loner definitely try to make a friend or two and connect with people y'all know I love these lashes I love these lashes I've still been rocking the same pair that I first bought but I'm gonna break out a fresh pair for y'all let me break out a fresh pair for y'all for this look but I did also want to say like on the topic of where do you go to find friends you know when people in your i feel like this is something that i have difficulty with too like when people invite me to stuff sometimes i don't go when people invite me to stuff and <laughs> don't ask me why okay but <laughs> it just depends on what's going on but sometimes i don't go when people invite me to stuff and when people are inviting you to things that's a great opportunity to not only expand your relationship with that person but to meet other people in their friend group and that's really the key to making friends y'all like that's really the key to make a friend and then hang out with their friends and make more friends <laughs> that's the key if you want to have like a, a larger friend group you know what i'm saying or get to know multiple people that's really that's really what it is that's really the science behind it but you have to be willing to say yes you have to be willing to go and that lately has been my problem like i'm so used to you know doing things on my terms when i feel like doing it when i'm ready a little selfish um you know i have to kind of be open to doing things with other people when they want to do it or you know what i'm saying like just being um more available more available i would say that's my one of my biggest issues is just being <clears throat> more available to people and also communication like those communication has always been one of my biggest issues when it comes to friendship um but also just being available not only available in the sense of being able to meet up with someone in person but just being available like being able to you know be on the phone with someone for an hour i don't like being on the phone all day but if i have someone that i care about a friend who likes to be on the phone all day you know what i'm saying i have to be available to that person maybe once a week once every couple days to lend a listening ear if they want to talk so that's really the thing about friendships y'all all relationships not being selfish and compromising and saying to yourself this is someone that i really care about so i'm gonna make the necessary adjustments to accommodate them into my life okay so i put my lashes on off camera i'm so sorry about the lighting normally i would have a light on this side so y'all could really get into the makeup look but my mom has my lights so i'm gonna have to get my lights back from my mama because this is this is not giving okay y'all can't even see the look it's giving right here, but y'all can't see. But when we're finished, I'll try and give y'all a full look. So we did our liner, we did our lashes. And y'all know I normally don't do any type of like baking, contouring and all that. But because I am trying to serve a look today, I'm gonna do a little bit of baking. All right, I'm gonna let this bake. I'm gonna do my hair and I'll be back. All right, y'all, I gotta get up out of here. So I'm not trying to be late, but I have my fit on. <laughs> okay, and did my hair. <gasps> okay, I'm trying to be that girl today, okay? Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, let me go ahead and take this bake off. And all I need to do is I'm gonna try out this I got this Milani bronzer but it's not as highlighted or pigmented well it doesn't look as pigmented as I thought it would let me see oh maybe it is 
Is it giving something? I don't know, y'all. I think I mistake. I think I thought this was a highlighter. Um, I don't see anything. <laughs> so I'm going to use my, my other highlighter. And then I got this CoverGirl blush like a really pretty burnt orange color so let's try this out y'all i'm so unprepared for this video because i did not do i did not clean my makeup brushes or anything y'all so i'm just using like random brushes right now let me see how this looks Ooh, pigmented y'all see that Ooh, super pigmented oh my gosh I don't wear blush like that either, but we're going to try it today. I'm just going to do like a little, it's a super pigment tip. That's kind of pretty. Okay, it's not bad, it's not bad. So that's that. We're going to do... Some mascara on my bottom lash line. What? Why is my mascara so messy like this? I don't know what's going on. I just bought this like a month ago, two months ago. All right, y'all, my camera is about to die, so I need to hurry up and do this, but I'm just putting on my Fenty lip gloss. I rarely ever wear lipstick, ever. I'm a liner and gloss type of girl. But yeah, y'all, here is the finished look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what y'all thought about the chit chat down in the comments and add y'all's commentary as well so we can kiki. I will see y'all in the vlog. Make sure y'all watch the vlog. Love y'all. And I'll show y'all my outfit too. I might get some clips of my outfits put in here. I don't know. But um, if not, watch the vlog. Love you guys so much. And I will see y'all in the next video.